One of many diseases we have among South Asians is diabetes. With me, we have Oriana Hill from Diabetes NZ Auckland. So Oriana, what is diabetes? A lot of people think diabetes is all about sugar. If we cut sugar out of our life, we'll cut diabetes out of our life. It's not quite the case. Diabetes comes about due to the high glucose content in our food and our body's ability or inability to be able to use the insulin to get it to the cells, the energy that we make. More than looking at the sugar that we eat, it's looking at the amount that we eat. And a lot of people will say, look, I've got diabetes, but I don't have a lot of sugar. How come I've got diabetes? And we have to say, well, it's more about the type of food you eat. So the carbohydrate content is very important. So that's looking at the sugar, which is, our, which is part of carbohydrate, and then the starch, which is our rice and our pasta uh, and our breads, those sorts of things. Type 1 tends to be your younger children, though not always, um, and their insulin stops working completely. Whereas in type 2, you do tend to make insulin over your lifetime still, it just it works less effectively as we get older. And it used to be called mature onset, so a lot of older people got type right. 2. Ariana, what are the causes for diabetes? There isn't like a cause and effect, so you can't just say, this is what's happened and this is what I've got. There's risk factors that are involved. So there are about eight of them. So some of the risk factors are your age, everyone's getting older and that's putting us at risk of getting diabetes, whether or not you exercise and how much exercise you do, the amount of fat that's in your diet that you eat, um, family members with it, so if there's a hereditary line, like if mum has it and dad has it, then the chances of you having type 2 diabetes is quite high. Your ethnicity, as we have said, um, Pacific Island, Asian and Maori do have a higher percentage of type 2 diabetes. Being overweight, having high blood pressure and high cholesterol, so already having sort of another, maybe not underlying um, disease, but having another risk factor from your health side of things. And women who've had um, bigger babies, for I think it's four kilos or nine pounds, so a baby that big or bigger, or who've had diabetes during their pregnancy are more likely to get diabetes um, as they get older. Oriana, a person with diabetes, what can they do to help themselves? I think we need to educate ourselves on what diabetes is. So we need to know what it is mm -hmm. before we can do something about it. Um, and we need to know what our risk is. So if I looked at the eight risk factors and I put my life picture in that, who I am, um, then I can judge what are my chances of getting diabetes. Oriana, why do you think South Asians are high in diabetes? We know that uh, as people move across from their country of origin, they become westernised, get accustomed to our food, and probably don't do as much exercise as they once did when they were back in their home countries. We also know that for South Asians particularly, their body composition is quite different and they do tend to hide their fat. So whereas Pākehā, Māori, Polynesian tend to have your muffin top, we all hang out, um, as they get their weight around the middle, Indian and South Asians don't. They tend to hide it quite nicely inside. So to look at them, you couldn't tell. Oriana, where can people get help or more information on diabetes? Well, they can come to us, Diabetes NZ Auckland. We run courses on diabetes. Um, and in June this year, I believe you and Fraser are helping yes. us run a Hindi class. Yes. We do um, diabetes self-management education. So that's you taking responsibility for your diabetes, being aware of what it's all about. Um, I mentioned Fraser Ali. She is She's the South Asian nurse that's working alongside the Auckland Diabetes Clinic at Green Lane. Yes. She's been there since 2007 and she runs a clinic on a Thursday out at Mount Roskill. Okay, thank you, Oriana. We do appreciate the time that you've spent with us in letting us know more about diabetes and we do hope to see you again. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for having me. After the break, Ella will be back with chair exercises.
Hello Char Health viewers. Today we're doing chair exercises. I hope you've got your chair. All you've got to do is grab a chair, sit on it and march it on the spot. The one in the living room is fine. Grab that chair and march it on the spot. When you are ready, I want you to use your arms and reach it out in front. Remember what exercise does for us and makes you feel good. When you're ready, I want you to move the legs out in front as well. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the hands down, lift the legs up. All you're doing is sitting and lifting the legs. Let's get that heart pumping. Give me eight more. Seven, six, we can add the arms in here. Give me four more. Four, three, two, and one. Team, now we're gonna tap to the side. Tap to the side. I hope you kept doing the exercise. Keep it going. Don't stop. Reach it out. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. March it on the spot. That's it. Let's put it together again. March, march, march. Keep it going. For four, three, two, and one. Heels out in front. Reach it out. Keep it up through the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. You've got four more. Three, two. We're going to get that heart to work harder. Get them knees up. Lift. Lift. If you can manage, you add the arms. Reach up. Reach up. Remember, you go at your own limit. You can make it harder by adding the arms in. You don't have to use the arms. Ready for the change? Out to the side. Tap. 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 Use them arms when you're ready. Out to the side. Out to the side. Now you can change this slightly. That is fine. Put some music on. Bollywood music, English music, any music you want. Last time team. And march on the spot. March. March. Get the knees up higher while you're marching. Show me the heel dig. Heel dig. Heel dig. 